in heaven, I think. How beautiful is this? Boys, I'll see you on the back of the lifeboat. I'm in Anglesey. The sun is shining. Let's go see what we can see. Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new welcome I'm in Anglesey I've never been before but I was looking at lots of different walks today um, and what made me come to Anglesey is hey I've never been um, B, the weather was rubbish everywhere else so after a two hour drive, I've arrived <laughs> in heaven, I think. I'm currently in somewhere called Newborough Forest. It's a nature reserve. Um, home of red squirrels. Don't know if I'll see any. I did text them to say I was coming, but you know what they're like, they're always busy. Home of squirrels. It's got a beach. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big, massive yellow orb in the sky. Not quite sure what it is. I'll investigate that later. But the other reason I'm here is it's got a little tidal island. Probably one of the most photographed places in Wales, I would say. Not even just Anglesey, but Wales. It's got a lighthouse an old church and as lots of places in Wales it's got its own myth but firstly I'm probably gonna kick my heels around these forests for a bit because the island is tidal and I think I can hear the sea I have checked the tides and I think I've got about two and a half hours to kill so I can get on the island but the route that I'm walking now is going to take me to the edge of the beach so I'll be able to assess it then I'll have a look I suspect immediately it's going to be too wet so I'll go for a walk around the woods see if I can find some squirrels and then I'll get on the island now the car park relatively cheap and I think the maximum is seven pounds um, the car park is huge if you're coming by sat nav I'll put the postcode up but don't rely on the postcode because it'll only take you to the rough area but the beach um, and I'll put the name up here um, is signposted once you start getting into Newbra so you'll find it there's loads of parking spaces well, it is today. It is Friday, but it's barely lunchtime. So I imagine things like Easter, school holidays, this place would be absolutely heaven. But there are loads. There's toilets, they're free, they're clean. So, I'm in Anglesey. The sun is shining. Let's go see what we can see.
How beautiful is this? Utterly stunning. Most of Britain today is all covered in cloud and rain. This is stunning. wander off and I'll either see you in a couple of minutes on the island or I'll see you on the back of the lifeboat. Regardless of the tide timetable, I'm on the island. I put the name of the island up because I don't want to murder the pronunciation. But it's named after a Welsh saint and it's their equivalent of Saint Valentine. And again, I'll put his name up because I don't want to murder that either. Oh my God, if you've never been here, You've got to come. It's absolutely gorgeous.
spectacular and it's got an amazing view of snow down here. Go find some squirrels. probably just as well the tide was out when I got here. I have spent way too long on this island. So much so, I don't think I've actually got time to go and do the forest, which is a shame, but I have a feeling when my wife starts to see the video footage, I think we'll be coming back here quite soon. So I'll do the forest then. So right now, Roasting. I think I'm gonna have a walk along the beach and get in the car and go home. This well worth a visit. It is one of the most stunning places I've been. It's been emotional. Right. That'd be my tip anyway, to be honest. If you're coming, do the forest first get it out of the way. It'll take about an hour, maybe, because the one thing you don't want to rush is this. And if the tide starts coming in, you will have to rush this and it's not worth it. If you're going to spend most of your time doing something, do this. It is stunning. Right then, back at the car. I do feel guilty about not doing the forest. But do you know what? The island is just too nice. And I met um, a lovely little couple who'd come down from Liverpool and they said they'd never been here before and they were absolutely speechless. And that kind of sums it up. I haven't got enough words for it. it it's just, I mean, there's not a lot there, but it, it, it's just beautiful. So, get it on your bucket list, go and do it. I feel less guilty about the, um, the forest, because I just know I'm coming back. So, I will see it then. But for now, what an amazing day. It wasn't really on my planned list. The only reason I came was it was the only place today in the entire UK that even remotely suggested it had decent weather. And it's been glorious. Seriously, get it on your list. Come here. I'm lost for words. 
Thanks for watching.